So, this morning I'm going on a little walk. I'm going to walk to Siddle, but I'm going to walk to Hullen Edge Park first to try filming a like sort of devastation or like mess that there is. Because trust me, they will because the bonfire was last night. Um, weather is much better today. It's sunny, it's lovely. It's actually forecast to rain only at 5 o'clock, one hour. Uh, as opposed to all day last yesterday. Um, it's actually quite warm as well. So, uh, gonna go for a bit of a walk. So, walk up through Elland, up to the park, then back along the canal to Siddle. Wow, it's nice! Sun's out! What a shock of events! So it looks like there's a footy match going on, but that's all right because I'm cutting straight through. I'm kind of curious to know what aftermath there will be. Well, 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 bloody hell. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's not a good start. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Like, it's not that bad here. I'm kind of curious to know what this bit on the other side is going to look like. Because e equally, there was a lot of people here, stood here. But there was equally a lot of people on that bit as well. So everything's in sh skips. And if it sheds then. Skips. Skip. And then, well, you can clearly tell where the fire's been. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's uh, pretty tidy. Is the field. Either they've been tidying up as I've been in or they did it all last night it's really tidy apart from the entrance to the park like where I entered it's just dead muddy there but the rest of it looks actually all right to fair everything looks fine it don't look like a lot of people from a scuffy area have just had with I've occupied the area occupied <laughs> Occupied? Not occup occupied. No, it looks really uh, kept clean. Looks really good. So, uh, good job. Good job indeed. Gonna walk through Ireland now. Probably gonna get a drink, I think, and then walk along the canal to Salt Hebel, then up to Siddle. Quite a nice day. I'm actually not gonna lie, it's really nice. Compared to yesterday when it rained so dramatically hard in Littleborough and everywhere to fair. It's better today, definitely. I'd have been pretty stupid if I wanted to wear just shorts and a shorts and a t-shirt yesterday. But you know, for today I can actually do it. It's nice. It's nice weather. What a change in weather. Well, by the looks of it, my parents weren't very long at all in my Road. So, I'm still going to walk to Siddle though. Because I'm going to get a lift back. Um, 20 past 11. Could not, why could yesterday not be like this? I've, I do still want to go back to Littleborough and go on a nicer day. Definitely. Like, I definitely want to do Smithy Bridge. Like, that, it's like a loop to fair. I want to do this, so I want to walk. <laughs> so, I want to go to Smithy Bridge. I didn't want to get my phone out hardly because I didn't want to just get wet and get it soaked and get it damaged so I just walked off where I felt natural to go so if I have my map out on my phone regularly I can check where I'm going couldn't do that yesterday because it was just absolutely blasting it down with rain <sighs> hmm Oops. 
There you go, you're named after a vape shack in Ireland. <laughs> so as soon as I get on this path and road, everybody's driving down it. But when I'm not on it, there's nobody. <laughs> so I got a drink from One Stop. I think today I might have a look at the places from between Hebden Bridge to Southport and see what they look like. Alternatively as well, I was on the Manchester Victoria train and there was a place before Manchester called Mills Hill. So I'm going to check that out as well to see what that's like. Good getting out. Okay, so most of the time I will go along the canal to Salt Hebel and then go up that way to Siddle because the canal's flat. But one way I haven't done in quite a long time actually is to walk up the hill all the way to Exley farm. I haven't done that in quite a while actually. So uh, I figured the canal actually on a Sunday is going to be packed with cyclists, families, people walking. So I figured go this way would be less busier also it's good for elevation as well so uh, it'd be nice just to go this way for a change yeah it's different but uh, different is good it's only half eleven I have put my little bit of video, well, videos into a into a file, and the bonfire from last night as well, and uh, recorded a video on the eSports Awards, the community vote, because I looked through the other ones and I have no idea who anyone is, so the community vote goes down to like various people. Including the two that I really watched to fair. <sighs> Terrorizer and Mini Lad. And uh, well, I have to admit, I think I like Mini Lad more than Terrorizer. Because just. <sighs> everyone comes together with Mini Lad and what then comes together and you can see the fan base. You can't do that with Terrorizer. Not really. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm just out of breath, if I... <coughs> also as well, kind of walking this way, even though it is uphill, it's actually more of a shortcut, I think. I would have thought. Yeah. Plus as well, we've been up here, there's just no people. I have not seen one person walk up or down here since being on this hill. People driving up and down, it's different, but people walking? No. Also, there's one benefit of walking up here. Uh, not the crematorium, but I'm going to cross over in a minute because of the view. Yeah, there's just nobody here, is there? Like literally, I've only been out like half an hour. Damn. So literally, Ellen Crematorium's in there, some down there somewhere. And then, like in the distance, is Brighouse and Ellen. Actually, man, there's just nobody here. Not because it's abandoned, of course, because that's not true, because people live here. 
in such nice houses. <sighs> this is the bit, this is out this is still technically Elland. Like the high parts of Elland. Like just like literally the outskirts of Elland. And these houses are just amazing. And then when you get into Elland, yeah, different story. Alright, I'll admit, there's some nice houses in Elland. But there's a lot that are not. There's a lot of houses around here though that are just out of this world, they're just big. They're so big. I'll tell you a coincidence that happened recently. My cousin's in Australia, like traveling. I'm jealous because he's in Australia traveling. And um, someone I went to school with in primary school. They both ironically met together, not to boyfriend girlfriend, but not boyfriend girlfriend, but they just honestly started. I think it was in Brisbane, and then they were like, "Oh hello!" Out of nowhere, it was like a oh, hello moment. I'd like to go to Australia. It's a long way to go, though. I think I'd rather go backpacking in Europe. Well, 35 minutes into the walk, I'm already at the top of uh, the hill, so I'm actually going into Exley now. Another nice view. Man. Yeah, this was a good walk. This is, well, this, not this was, this is a good walk. It's not often I get to go out walking on my own, you see. I mean, yesterday was planned anyway, and today was kind of planned as well. Oh man, no way! It just gets better. Nice view that way as well. Yeah, I'm not actually inside doing nothing. I mean, the only reason I was out inside was because I was tidying up and having a rest because I did a long way, long way of walking yesterday. That's different as opposed to, oh, I'm watching TV because I can't be bothered to go out. Oh man. Also, I might be slightly mad just wearing a t-shirt and shorts, or well, since the weather that it is. But if you walk quick enough, you can generate heat to warm yourself up. So in the eSports Awards that I did this morning, I recorded, there was one for cosplay and I was like, I have no idea who any of these are, but there was one that was in purple, I was like, looks good, I'll pick purple, and it's somebody that's ironically Scottish. So for having bins here, I just got rid of my cup, my, uh, not cup, but my drink anyway. Siddle, both my cousins played for him. And I remember when Siddle played Toronto Wolfpack, Wolfpacks and kicked their ass. And yes, Toronto Wolfpacks are Canadian. So they came all this way to play Siddle and Siddle kicked the flipping ass. So all that way wasn't quite for nothing, but uh, to get your ass kicked by Siddle and Toronto's Siddle is a is a is a little village. Toronto is a city. So to have your ass kicked by a, a little village compared to a city is pretty embarrassing to fair. Just realise now I'm in Exley. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and it's only quarter to twelve. So I'm gonna actually make my way to my grandma's now. <sighs> Done pretty well. Not aiming for any distance today though. So when I was in Elland, thinking that my parents were already home, they're still in Mylanroyd, so they're setting off from Mylanroyd now. So I'm going to walk now to my grandma's and uh, yeah, it should only take me about 10-12 minutes, roughly 10-ish minutes. 
So I kind of forgot that Siddle's two-sided was a nice bit, which is a very small fraction of Siddle. And there's a bit that's all right, and there's a bit that's actually quite crap. So that's three bits to fair. Uh, I'm in the bit now that's all right. It's not. It's not 100%, but it's all right. It's okay. It's fine. So then I'm now going to walk to the bit that is the nice bit. Ironically, where my grandma lives. What well, the bit where my grandma lives is the nice bit. So, uh, yeah. Just thinking what to do for the rest of the day then, to fair. So I walked up another hill to get onto this bit. It's going to be less busy here, you see. I think I said it already, but I'm going to look on Google Maps and on Google uh, as to what the places look like between Hempton Bridge and Southport. I'm going to look up Mill Hills as Mills Hill as well. I thought I'd walk along here, but it was bad. I was very, very wrong. Very wrong. <sighs> Nobody now. <laughs> Absolutely no one now. Um, yeah, so I'm not far off my grandma's to fair. So I'm not very far off 5k though. So I can see the traffic down there though. So I'm probably not going to vlog again. Actually, to fair, I'll vlog later on anyway. But for this walk, because it's going to be its own video. <sighs> An alternative way to Siddle, as opposed to going along the canal, a better way. So uh, thanks for watching, and wow, I've done, it's nearly 12 o'clock, I've done 5k, it's not even been an hour yet. So thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.